Good morning. My sleep study is complete. I have this gel stuff all up in my hair. I have to go home and shower and get that out. Just did a morning questionnaire. And hopefully I get results soon. I had a hard time falling asleep, but I have this weird chest pain that I get sometimes, which I actually wanted to happen during the study this so that it, like hope so hopefully they can like see why that's happening. So uh, I think 10 to 14 days is what they said. I could it could take that long for them to get back to me. So, but time to go home because I miss my baby, I miss my puppy, I miss my life, and I'm excited that my apartment should smell like a big old Christmas tree now. Here comes a series of 500 stretches that he's about to do because he is just like his parents. Yeah? <laughs> oh, good morning! Oh gosh. Well, 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 we just got a box from Grandma. I'm so excited to open! I think it's all for this cutesy. I feel so happy. We're at one of our favorite resorts. I think we said that every time. Christmas time is here. Ba -ba 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 -ba. <laughs> Look at Oh gosh. That's so pretty. Wow. This bow. Ah, such a good tree. Oh yes. Nothing like hearing Christmas music and looking at zebras at the same time. This is one of the best lobbies in Disney. Gosh, look at that. The garland lit up. This is the first resort we've really seen at Christmas. It really is, yeah. Because yeah, we like had just missed Grand Florida and I feel like that's when everything started. Yes. We got some friends outside we have to go say hi to. We have some friends staying here at Jumbo House and we come to visit to hang out at the resort, hang out with them so they can meet James as well. But it's super weird because so much is closed at Jumbo House. Like everything Jico, pretty much. Jico, uh, Boma. Boma. This quick Ismara? service. Oh my gosh. The our favorite gift shop that we usually play checkers in yeah. is all closed. But it's we such gotta, a big resort too. Yeah, I'm surprised they don't like. I, I think Kadani's open, so I'm surprised like not one side is closed and one side's right. open. But one side's DVC. This is DVC and resort. Right. I don't know. I love how the ducks hang out with the flamingos here. Just, just enjoying. Mm -hmm. Listen to the flamingos, James. And check this out. So I didn't realize this, but here in Jumbo House, only the fifth floor is open. And here's our little friends. Look at this. On this walkway. It's literally so gorgeous. Sarah's got James. And Steve just took some photos of us. You know my buddy Steve. He got, Miles is talking about how there's just poop in his diaper. Steve's holding James. Steve's been texting me every single day asking for this since before James was born. <laughs> we forgot <laughs> there was popcorn in the microwave. <laughs> You had to bring it. <laughs> there's giraffes out here. On a positive note, there's, there's giraffes right there. Alright, we've got Happily Ever After. Breaks my heart, but so happy. Henry's about to vlog, but if he gets in the bed, Mom said get in the bed. Lay in the bed, you can have your popcorn. And we've got good popcorn, not burned popcorn from Steve. Yeah. Steve was getting too emotional holding my son, and he yeah, forgot about it. A little bit. <laughs> eat it up quick! Eat it, eat it, eat it! Eat it! Eat it! Eat it. Oh! If you've been watching us for three years, you know what this box means. We're gonna decorate all our Christmas trees, even though our baby is asleep. We used to be he's best so buddies, cute. but now we're not because he's fast asleep. We're still best buddies. Yeah. Do you want Miller's Ale House? Bomb bomb. <laughs> we ordered Miller's Ale House. I'm going to order it or pick it up. 
in like Curbside. five minutes. Curbside pickup. Then the decor begins. Here we go, Miller's to go. We got a Zinger Mountain Milk, mozzarella planks, and Sarah wanted chicken wings. Oh my good golly gosh. These chicken wings are the whole reason that we got food tonight. It's gonna be a late night with this and decorating. It's gonna be good. We're decorating the tree. It's Saturday. It is Saturday. It's a party weekend. Let's see. Oh, here we go. Yes. Let's see. Let's turn off all the lights. Ready for this? With the power of my Amazon machines. I give you. Definitely not perfect. I need to rotate some of this down. We got a we got a dark gap here, major not cool, and some dead bulbs I have to replace. But we're getting there. All right, don't mind the cro crooked star. We'll fix that later. Spacing, I'm a little bit more happy with. We're a fan of the fewer but bigger colors, but this string might be ruined because of this singular bulb. That's the third, I repeat, third bulb I put in there. Um, I have to check the circuit to see if it's getting it. And if not, we will have to go get a replacement. And I've already gone through all these replacement bulbs. So slightly irritating, but worth it. I love a good fresh Christmas tree with some beautiful lights. Um, I was kind of abandoned tonight. We have a sleeping Sarah, a sleeping James, and a sleeping Eve. No one wants to decorate tonight. I have no idea when the last clip was because Peter was still awake when I fell asleep on the couch. While he was getting the lights on the tree, me and James were just super cozy, and I'm sure I was in a little bit of a food coma. Um, from what we ate from Miller's Ale House, but woke up. Peter fell asleep too on the couch, and it was 1 a.m. Um, and so we're gonna get a bottle going for him and head to bed. The lights look super great. I feel so bad because I know Peter was so excited to decorate and I totally just fell asleep. Um, but we will decorate tomorrow. No if ands, or buts. Today is November 21st. The quote is by Ralph Waldo Emerson. Cultivate the habit of being grateful for every good thing that comes to you and to give thanks continuously. And because all things have contributed to your advancement, you should include all things in your gratitude. So basically, if once you weren't, um, always eating chicken in your life but you say fooey and get a bunch of deep fried chicken for a late night meal don't wonder why your stomach feels terrible four hours later sleepy one sleepy two <laughs> sleepy three and I'm sleepy four you don't even want to know what time it is. <laughs> Let's just call this James's middle of the night feeding. <laughs> it's good to be home. It's good to be home. Hopefully we'll we'll be here tomorrow with smiles <laughs> on our faces. <laughs> feeling Kids, much better. Don't go for the late night Miller's Ale House. I know. I was so excited, I was like, it's gonna be the perfect Christmas tree decorating feast. We went we were so we wrong. We went too far. <laughs> we went too far. We know what our goals are. 
We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.